welcome back everyone to Kent Herbeck Outdoors. I'm Eric Gislason. You know, there are many tales that come from the world of fishing, but perhaps none more inspiring than that of professional fisherman Mark Tipler. No lies, fibs, or exaggeration here, folks. Here's a guy who stared death square in the face and lived to tell about it. On a windy, chilly, gloomy, late Minnesota summer morning, there was Mark Tipler putting a, well, actually took some positive spin on things. <laughs> Every day is a good day, especially when you spend it on the water. Mm -hmm. Some say the measure of a man is what like comes that. from inside, but this Roseville, Minnesotan just may be the exception. Okay. For it's scars outside this 42-year-old professional fisherman that give him the drive and the determination to meet life's twists and turns, and in his case, tragedy, head on. As a youngster, Mark Tipler lived a storybook childhood. Football, fishing, family, he had it all. So football was your, probably your first love, but I uh, want to know about this fishing thing. Well, as a kid, Growing up in Roseville, we'd be fishing. As a bright-eyed 18-year-old, Tipler was set to graduate from high school the picture of potential, a bright future ahead of him. Bright, that is, until the darkness of a 1979 house fire clouded that picture. If you set the scene, you're in the basement of your house mm -hmm. with your brother, yep. waiting for him to finally scrape up some remnants of some old carpeting with some mineral spirits. Right. His scraper hits a crack in the concrete, creates a spark, the fumes go, the whole basement blows up, basically. Yeah. The air just all of a sudden ignited and went up, and uh, so it was pretty much flames from sealing the floor. Tipler's brother escaped unscathed. Mark Tipler wasn't as lucky. He suffered severe burns over 90% of his then 18-year-old body. And he was having a very tough time. It was a very severe critical injury. Candace Keene remembers that fateful day in 1979 like it was yesterday. She was Mark's head nurse at the burn center of Regions Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota. You get the Regions to the burn center and there's a priest there and sprinkling the holy water on me and giving me my last rites. And that was the last thing I remember. There's a happy ending to Mark Tipler's story and there's wisdom to be found in his journey back from a three month long drug induced coma. Mark Tipler woke up a grateful man and remains one to this day. And uh, I just think back to that day and think that uh, could have been, I couldn't have had this day. Tipler's eternal optimism now shines by land and sea. Miss a chance at a biting bass and? Uh, you know, there's always another cast. <laughs> another cast, another day, another tournament. Hey, you're the king of second chances, I know that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'll have a second chance right here. And sure enough... <laughs> oh, there we go. We need that five-pounder. It's an oyster. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that fish. Oh. oh, my God. So on this cloudy, gloomy day comes oh a fishing God. angel. <laughs> An ambassador, if you will, of goodwill. <laughs> Nowadays, he even throws his own annual charity bass wow. fishing tournament for kids of the Burn Center at Regions Hospital. As a nurse, you don't get that many times that you get to see people in their real life either, and then to see them give back mm -hmm. to the peace that caused so much change. I think that's another thing that life is all about, too, is, is just learning. It's a learning process all the way through. But even through learning about life, Mark Tipler has taught us all a lot about life. 